Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another video. Uh, this time I'm going to, I said I was going to do it on my own, but I thought now there's some new folks and they haven't seen how to do the TN. I haven't shown them perhaps um, how to do, uh, I do the TN uh, at the eyelets. So I thought we'd do that and just do a little bit more work on this, maybe cut the envelopes and maybe uh, cut the blanks that I put in them to um, use for as kind of placeholders for uh, tags and whatnot. Sorry, I was just grabbing a punch. Um, so this is, I think I showed you, or yeah, last time we put these journals um, in, the three. And I'm really happy with them. I think they look really pretty. Love the pages. Lots from Medieval Mirage and there's some from Rachel and some from Tracy Fox. And, um, I think there might be Ruby and Pearl as well. Yeah, and chapter one. So, and then there's the second journal. And flip, and this bag, and then there's the third journal. And it, it has a one on the back. So I've shown you how I, I've, I've shown you how to um, add, put the um, envelopes together with the tab bindings, and I showed you how to make a cover, or how I do it. I'm sure there are other ways, more very effective. And then how I sewed in the three signatures, and you can see the little spots where I sewed them in. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to look at the spine, and the reason I made this nine and a quarter. And the journal, I think, at the tallest is eight and three quarters, is I want it to be able to have a bit of space. I like to be able to um, have um, my first eyelet uh, just above and just below where this goes. So I can see there's about a half, well, about a centimeter on each end where I'm good um, for spacing. So I'm going to use my Cropodile, and you can use whatever tool you have available to you. Sorry, I'm just going to take some of this out. And I know the first one, I'm just going to center it on the spine, and I'm seeing where the spine is uh, and the width there. And I'm going to put it at about uh, just the other side of a quarter of an inch in. And then the next one, I'm just going to put down from there. You can see it just kind of frays that fabric, but there is a hole. And then we'll do the bottom. And like I said, I'm, I'm also just doing the eyeballing side of things, just inside of a quarter. And then just up from that. Okay, and then we'll cut these and we'll set those um, as well. So, I've got my little eyelets. Uh, I think these are three millimeter wide. Sorry, I'm just going to grab four out. There are three or four, I'm not entirely sure which. So I put my eyelid in like so. And I put my eyelet tool on and squeeze. And then we'll do the second one. And we'll do the same thing. And squeeze. So you can see they're nicely in there. And we'll do the other side. So this is so that I can have, um, I'm just accommodating one uh, journal, if you, will, if you will, one T, and you could use the center, um, the string, for another smaller journal if you want it, and you can add more journals as you go um, by putting a string around the signature, but um, I didn't think there was any need, this is going to be plenty thick. So I take my elastic and I buy this actually at a fabric store. It's two millimeters wide. I like 
2 millimeter or three or 1.5 millimeter for this. Anything more than that, I find it a bit thick. So I'm just going to go in the bottom one, pull, and I'm just going to go up the top one and then back in like so. And then just looking at where they cross over like that. Move my elastic out of the way and then I'm just going to tie it. And you want it to be um, taut but you don't want it to be like you want to have a little bit of give, like that. I managed to tie it over the top <laughs> of that. Oh my gosh. I wanted it underneath it, so there's no problem. So that's why I don't tighten it real tight the first time. There we go. So you can see now it's not crossing this center. The center is the one that I want to put my um, signature in into and then like I said I just keep it a bit loose for now and then this is going to go in very simply the third this the second signature in the center of the second signature is how I would put this in like that and you can see it fits in there really nicely we've got fits the top and it fits the bottom as well. So, whoop, did I put it in upside down? I did, but that's okay. I'm taking it out anyway because I want to cut the envelopes. So, here we go. We'll put it in right when I get finished. So, this is the front. I like to have the first one, the first envelope with the cut on the side. So we're going to go for that. And you can use scissors, but I'm going to try and keep this as straight as possible. Um, that's my goal. So, so that's the first one, the first cut. Is it going to cut open? Did I come far enough? I didn't come far enough. That's strange, isn't it? I must have had quite a bit of paper folded over that edge. There we go. See if we can get it open now. There we go. Just a little bit of paper there that was stuck. And if that happens to you, there's no problem. Just pull those little bits off. You're all, I know, yelling at me. Put that down. Don't cut yourself. Okay. So that's great. Let's cut like that. And then I'm going to just put a little uh, notch in it with my circle punch. I love that circle punch. I bought that at Michael's years ago. This one is already open as well on the side. And I'm not going to, I'm going to put the notch up here because I, I don't want them to be on top of each other. Nothing seems to want to cooperate today. This is, the punch is not liking how thick that is. Sorry, I'll pull that out. But this is what you do when that happens. You just... Now I have a, a great uh, pattern to follow based on where it did chomp. And we're good. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing worth getting frustrated about. So there that is open. So I have one, two. And because those two are on the side, I'm going to put this one at the top. So we're just going to... Actually, because it's so close to up there, I'm going to just cut it with scissors. Like that. And it's cut nicely. Okay. And 
then I'm going to put my little notch in there, trying to center it somewhat. There we go. So we've got that. Perfect. And since that was on the top, I'm going to want to do this one on the side. It is open at the top right now, but I'm, I'm going to cover that up, I think. So let's see about doing the side. So it's very easy to change uh, something that's already been opened uh, like this. I just have to put some, um, we just have to put a little bit of um, either washi or paper at the top there. So we've got that. I'm going to wait before I put the notch in because I have an idea that I might want to do. I'm going to put a notch at the top or open this one at the top. I'm just avoiding um, that fabric. There we go. And then I'm going to put a little notch there at the top. There we go. <laughs> it came at me. So we've got that there at the top. Very nice. And then we've got another journal and we've got a bag so we don't need to notch the bag. And then we've got our last page at the back. And I want to do the side of that one and it's also open at the top so we'll have to do something up there as well. But that's okay. We're good. Now I want to hold this because otherwise it will shift. Uh, and open it like that. Okay, great. So I'm just going to take my cutter to the side for now. How are we doing for time? Good. Good, good. So I was thinking, and I don't know if it's going to work. I'm just grabbing this punch. This is the Happy Planner. This is from Michaels. And because I didn't have any envelopes with windows, I wondered about putting a window in this and well, how far in will it let me go? That's the big question. It'll be close to the edge, but I'm okay with that. So what I need to make sure is that I'm in as tight as it'll go, and I am. And there we go, we cut out a window. Now you could have cut that out beforehand with um, any other sort of tool that you might have available to you. I'm going to grab, I think I have some vellum back here. I'm just going to grab vellum and I'm going to just put a little vellum window in there. And, um, yeah, I think that would be nice. Actually, I'm going to put that straight edge in first. So I'm just going to put the vellum window in. And because we had the top still open, that makes this possible. And you could put a window in any number of, uh, using this process, in any number of um, envelopes you have. See, I've got go to the edge like that. Perfect. Great. So you could put that, like I said, in any number that you have, but I um, I just want to make sure. I wanted to have one, and let's see. These are uh, some extra pages I had of Tracy's that I didn't use, and I wondered about something like this in the background. Well, in the window. I'm just going to cut that. 
And so we could position this so that it is in the window. Isn't that pretty? Like I'm, I like that. I think that looks really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna put my glue on and then I'm gonna cut off the extra. And what's nice is that create gives me a, a bit of a tab here on this side um, to hold while I'm positioning this. Could absolutely use glue stick for this, by the way. Okay, so I'm hold, lifting it up. I'm keeping this flush against the window so that I'm gonna get what I want in the window. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm just going to attempt to cut this. Great. Okay. Love that. That came together really nicely. So we'll always have something pretty that we can see in there, even though we may not use that. Um, or we may be covering it because we're going to have something else go in. So I'm thinking um, I could use, I want to use anything with writing on it, um, anything with a lot of direction to it, just to, to close the top. I was thinking we could use something like this to close the top and then fold it over. Uh, yeah. So if we can actually take that red, bit of red off. And I'm just going to put glue on half one side, like that. And set that on the top. Okay. And then what we want to do is just fold it over and then glue that down. And then that's closing our... You could just put glue at the top if you wanted, but why not do a little bit of collage? And that looks pretty, a little pretty border at the top. And so with this one, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put the notch about here. There we go. Like that. Okay, so that envelope is all decked out and closed. And there's our bag, another bag. Do we want one? Do we want a window on the back? Why not? Let's put a window on the back. We could put it towards the top. So let's once again make sure it's in there tight. go. Move that out of the way. Okay. And I'm going to, where's my vellum? Here we are. I'm going to cut another piece of vellum. And put that in. Just put some glue around the very edge. So we want it to be fit in there nicely. And then I'm just going to take this and get it in there. I forgot to ask you how you guys are doing. I hope you're all well. I'm having a great day getting to craft. That's always a good day. That's the way I look at it. That's great. This is e easier than trying to cover an envelope, to be honest. And this flower would look real pretty in there, I think. So I'm just going to cut around. And this is from Tracy's new uh, botanical kit. I'm just straining it off. You don't have to do that. Put those with my small scraps. And so now, what do I want to see through here? Definitely want to see those pansies. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put lots of glue in.
yeah, we've got um, the kids coming for supper tonight, which is always fun. So, always entertaining. Um, I don't think I have any new stories. I'm anxious to see how William's feeling. I know he's had a, a good day yesterday. So isn't that pretty? And it plays nicely with that blue. Just love that. Okay, so let's see. What else do we want to put on there? Um, paper. I like this. And this is part of that paper as well. Take about a little over a quarter of an inch off there. That's going to end up being upside down. I'm going to set this here and then fold it over. I cut it a little shorter than I needed to, but it's all good. Should smell the smells my husband's making. Tex Mex for supper. Oh, it's so delicious. He does such a great job. Um, he's such a good cook. It's great. Um, after, you know, cooking for, like I say to him, 40 years, I said, it's just a pleasure to have someone else take the helm every now and again. He usually cooks uh, for, the for me once once a week. That usually lasts us for a couple of nights. Um, but this time um, he's doing it for the family dinner. So that's really, really, really nice. So there we go. We've got our little window. Sorry, just got to put my pin in. And then I'm going to, I think we'll put our little divot down here. Um, all right yeah Tex-Mex delicious <laughs> really love that so I'm glad I put a window in a few okay so the next thing I thought I would do while we have time is we could just cut some card that um, to fit in for decorating for later so this is I'm just going to use this six and a quarter so I'm gonna make this six inches I think and I just use this craft stock that I get from um, that's five and a bit this should be good I get from Michael's and um, I find it's very very good to have sorry just making sure my watch wasn't taking over Okay, so that's going to be great. And I'm going to go about four and a quarter. And see about just setting that in there. And then I can decorate that when time comes. This one, like so. And I'm going to take about an inch and a half off. I try and make them a little bit thinner, like more than you would, th you would think, oh gee, you could have made that wider. But by the time you put um, uh, with collage on it, it th thickens it up and I just don't want it to uh, we don't need it to be as wide. It takes up more space in the envelope because these are not gusseted. Okay, it's catching on the bottom, but for now I'll leave it like that and then we'll see about uh, whether or not I need to use a... Um, either cut it down or use a ruler to just get more inside it a little bit more. Okay. That one is just about seven. 
Now I'd say it's about four, just over four. Whoops. And just about seven. So that's five, six, six and a bit. We'll try this, and if we're if we're off, we'll try again. That's pretty good. So we'll set this inside. And you could use whatever cardstock you have. You could use Tim Holtz, all kinds of things. Uh, and you don't have to use cardstock. You could be doing things on paper and whatnot. The other thing you could do is you can sew. Take your sewing machine, just kind of put this in and sew so that you've got like two pockets. That's also a possibility. Um, Just a little bit too high, so I'm going to take a little bit off and I'm gonna take about four. And we're going to go about four, I think. And just set that inside like that. Perfect. And we've got this bag. And we could put this narrow one in here if we wanted. Make a tall, narrow tag. That worked out well. We've got this one. These are just the scraps from what we've already cut. Let me cut that a little narrower. It will fit, but like I said, because I'm going to be collaging on them. And you could be using things like pre-made tags. You could use, um, gosh, there's a lot of things you could be using. Um, you know those wonderful uh, work, um, gosh, time, time cards, that kind of thing. All right, so we're gonna do this one. I think it was around four. And I think it was a little too high last time. I'll take a little bit off. We'll put this one in. And Just see if I missed any for place cards. We got that one and this one. And then at the end of this, we've got this one. Ah, this one. Okay. So I feel like I could do something about four and a half with that. I think. Four and a half. And getting oh there we go yeah and I don't mind that sticking at the top like that and then we've got the end of this we've got one in there we've got one in there and we've got one in there so that's all of the blanks that we need it to fill the envelopes and of course I'm going to be doing some decorating elsewhere as well um, but um, I'm I, I'll be doing some of that with you and some of it I will be doing on my own so that's actually a nice size for the front. So that took three pieces of the um, cardstock, and those are all things that I would like to decorate. So yeah, actually this is bothering me. <laughs> you knew it was going to, didn't you? So I'm just gonna cut the top off a little bit, and we'll be good to go. There you go. I save my bits. I don't save the real, real small ones, but I do save the bits. Uh, and then that attempt, well, it doesn't help if I've got my finger closing it. That's for sure. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's better. So there we go. We've got everything ready just really to do, to start the decorating part, which is super. And there she is.
there's our little journal. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for, to you. Now you should be able to move forward and decorate your cards and start decorating pages. And like I said, I will do some of that um, on camera, but I'm not going to um, I'm not going to do it all. It's just going to be as I as I'm feeling at the time. Okay. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.